Hello, welcome to Nebula Vaping. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the two new products that we just launched on our website. Um, we wanted to show people kind of how they worked and um, what they were all about. So we'll start with the um, NV175. So when we did the NV350, uh, we got a lot of people who would send us send us messages like, "Oh, it's really cool, but you know, I only need one or two ports, uh, you know, because I don't have four friends or whatever." It's kind of sad, but it's fine. Whatever, we get it. Um, and we always wanted something that looked a little bit nicer, I guess would be the best way to put it, that you could put on your desk and, you know, no one's going to look at it and be like, oh, what the heck's that thing? Or it looks more like a piece of, uh, you know, home electronic almost than the NV350, which had a really industrial look to it. So we've spent the last couple months developing this. Uh, it's called the NV175. It's a two-player version of our NV350. Um, it's pretty small. I mean, it's not terribly large compared to the NV350. It's probably like the same footprint, but you know, half if not less than half of the height. Um, it's got the power cable that comes out the back. You plug this in um, and then it's got the two ports in the front and then this is the power button. And then, you know, the hose goes out, comes to the handle. The handle has uh, just a standard 510 connector and then the button that, you know, makes it go. So let's go ahead and power this unit up. So we'll turn this on. There you go. Uh, this is our prototype. So the light glows in red. On all of the actual units that will be going out, this all of this lighting here will be in white. Uh, so it won't be red for you guys. This is just prototype only. This one will stay with us forever. Um, so now that it's on, you know, you get your hose plugged in, you screw on whatever atomizer you want. It'll fire a single hose down to a 0.15. If it's got two hoses connected and they're firing at the exact same time, uh, the minimum ohm limit is a 0.25. So it's still pretty low. Uh, you know, you don't for just something that you're using at home, you don't necessarily want to go much lower than that. But uh, I'll show you a 0.5. Uh, this is my um, Aspire Atlantis tank, which we just got in stock here at Nebula. If you want one, you need to come pick one up. These things are fantastic. Let me show you how this vapes the Atlantis on the NV175. It works great. Uh, you know, part of that's due to the fact that it's in Atlantis and it's really good. The other part of that is the uh, NV175. So another key difference between this and the NV350, um, this operates at 4.2 volts. So with the NV350, where you would sometimes have to do a rebuild if you wanted to use a specific tank on there because it might run a little hot. With this, it's going to run at the exact same voltage that your mech mod runs at when it's at full power. Um, so it's a lot more convenient. You can just grab whatever tank, drop it on, it'll work. So now I'll show you um, what a dripper is like on there. So this dripper is at 0.3 ohm. Let's get this off of here, which is a nice all day vape drip setup. That's, you know, if I'm running an all day dripper, it's gonna be somewhere between 0.25 and 0.35. That's for me, that's what I like. Um, makes the juice last a little bit longer. Um, so, you, you know, same thing. You just grab whatever tank or atomizer you want. You screw it on, you line up the holes. So that's at a 0.3. It'll go a little bit lower than that. It'll go even lower than that if you're just using the single hose. If it's just one person using it, you can, you know, go down to like I think that was 0.15. So it'll make even more vapor. Although personally for me, I really like this setup. So that's the NV175 two-player. Uh, I guess e hookah is kind of the the term for it. Um, that's it's a multi-person box mod essentially that you plug into the wall. It'll run forever as long as your power is working. Um, the next thing we'll feature in this video really quickly is the um, NV40. So you'll notice a trend with our names. The NV350 was capable of 350 watts. The NV175 is capable of 175 watts. And this is the NV40. And this one will go up to 40 watts, as you can see there on the screen. Uh, so this is a DNA40 based device. Um, it's uses the chip made by Evolve, so it's got the nickel 
wire ability to use temperature sensing. It's got ramp up, ramp down. It's got a bunch of really cool features. They're all listed on the website, everything that the DNA chip does um, on our website, nebulavaping.com. Um, these are gonna come in a variety of colors. The casings will be available in this kind of gray, um, which is the same gray as the handles on the uh, NV175, or they'll come in black. Um, and then the faceplates are available in I think like seven different colors. Check the website.